I had to come out here and make a video for y'all about glutathione absorption and how to get it into your bloodstream fast, fast, without having to do the IV. I had to stop my IV treatments and I didn't even see any results. And I did that six weeks. It was, it was crazy. And um, they'll tell you, people who are serious about it, they'll have two IV treatments a week for weeks on end. And they still won't see anything but you know when they're doing those treatments understand those treatments most of the time you're only getting a thousand to two thousand milligrams when it's administered in one of those places so you still have to do other stuff you still have to take pills whatever so i got my pills but i had to do some digging about how to get it to my bloodstream that's what i found on this little forum someone's talking about um rectal implant syringes and i was like what's a rectal implant so i found out pretty much it's just a one of those cough syrup those children cough syrup syringes like this okay without needle and um, they call it rectal implant because they have some that are a little thinner and you put it the first inch the first inch as you can see this is not one inch this is way bigger but the first inch into your bum and that's where whatever medicine because this this has been used for years to give people their medicine because it hits the bloodstream so for certain people this is like gold um for glutathione users well this is why i'm sharing it because i finally started going down i'll show you my before this is what i was looking like that was just march okay now i'm getting down to this Sorry, I got my waist trainer on. We're doing some work, but um, y you can see the tone. I've been seeing here on YouTube, everyone has the worst quality glutathione videos. Like, they're whitewashed out. They got the exposure up on their camera. We see what you're doing. We're not dumb. You got that Android pixelated phone. Like, they didn't even put it horizontal for y'all. Like, the quality is terrible. So, mind the little slave cap and the waist trainer y'all ain't seen anyone clearer than this video right here so i'm not worried about it but i just had to come share this with you that this is how you get into your bloodstream quick and since i started doing this i started the first week i started getting that yellow undertone got rid of that that freaking tan that i got <laughs> So now I'm getting to a yellow, yellow undertone. Um, my skin naturally can get lighter than this, but I had I've built up tan right now. So I'm just trying to get it all off. I'm interested to see if I can get it lighter than what I can naturally get it. The lightest I've been, mm, I was in high school. I was all into not leaving my house <laughs> and I got kind of light. <laughs> that was it you know i can't live like that you know i gotta go out i do stuff so my skin tone the rest of my life has been closer to this so y'all you're watching you're a part of this journey now you're here let me tell you how i do this really quick um take it i only mix it with 0 0.5 so that's half a teaspoon of water distilled water if you're doing any type of enema anything rectally you use distilled water so 0 0.5 that's half a teaspoon. That's only up to there. We're we gonna assume. Okay, about up to there. And my goal, I want my tiger stripes. I want to blend in with my tiger stripes. You guys see my tiger stripes? When people start lightening up, those tiger stripes start to kind of fade because now the rest of their skin is pretty much the shade of the tiger stripe so that's how we gonna see it over these next few weeks and months because i bought three months supply worth of glutathione pills i'm taking six thousand milligrams a day okay so that's two pills in the morning two pills afternoon two pills at night now i'm doing it rectally and since i started doing it rectally i finally see i'm getting a base coat before i saw nothing anyways so get it Pour some distilled water in a little cup, and then you're gonna just lift up till it sucks it. So now you got exactly how much water you need. Okay, put this away. Go get your little glutathione powder capsules, bust it open, okay? You got them busted open, okay? Now, pour out whatever the rest of the distilled water that's in here. You don't need that, okay? Because we only wanna put half a teaspoon in our rectum. 
Okay, so after you pour that out, back into the distilled water gallon jug. Don't just be going wasting water. You and me that. Put it in. Now you have exactly 0 0.5 teaspoons. This is what I do every day, three times a day. Then I put the powder in from the little pill halves. Then I take a spoon or straw, stir it up. You'll see it goes away. It dissolves. Take it, suck it up. Oh, great. Now we're back to half teaspoon. It's all dissolved. You can see now it's kind of cloudy. Then get you, get that coconut oil, put a little bit of coconut oil on it. And yeah, y'all, they make these thinner. Okay. But I think you can take it. I really do understand you only going up to about one inch, one inch. Understand you go further than one inch. It's the same as if you're doing an enema. You're bypassing that little area, and I'm gonna have links down below so you guys can understand where in the rectum does it absorb the antibiotics. This is how people used to get their antibiotics into the bloodstream without IVs. You have to go only an inch or an inch and a half in. You go past that, now it's going up to the colon. It's gonna travel up to the colon, and then it gets processed through the liver. If it gets processed through the liver, you could have just ate it. You're getting the same, you know, it's going to happen just as quickly as if you ate it, but you just put it up your ass too far. So understand, you only go in an inch in, an inch or a half. That's it. Okay. So once you got that much inside of you, and it's lubed up, you ain't going to need it. But anyways, whatever. Push it slowly. I, I take my time. I take my time. Maybe one to two minutes. I just let it get in there slowly. It's never dribbled out. None's ever gotten on, you know, my clothing or anything like that. So it absorbs in there quick and then go on about your day. Put your underwear on, put your pants on. <laughs> Is that simple, y'all? Is that simple? Then go clean this. You can boil this. Um, I'll have some links in Amazon because I got ripped off with this one. I got this at Walgreens. They want $8. No, no. Especially after a few uses, you're going to want to toss it because plastic, you want to be able to sterilize it really well so far i do soap and water and then after about a week get another one so i'll have some amazon links so you can get one it's a little smaller and yeah comes in like a pack of four instead of just one don't get ripped off y'all i got another gem to share with you guys but we'll we'll save that for another video um it's another one of you know a hack no one's really talking about to be able to absorb even more glutathione 20% more, no matter how much glutathione you're taking, it's going to let you absorb it better. You already know the vitamin C hack. That ain't nothing new. So anyways, we'll talk about how to do that later. Like I said, you watching this video, now you're part of the journey. I'm going to keep you updated with pictures and actual video that's horizontal, that fits your screen, and that isn't whitewashed from too much lighting or an over exposure.